Good morning, guys. Today, I would like to discuss about the glossary of the lesson kite maker. First one, cowbell, cowbell. So, what is the meaning of that? Rounded stone used on the surface of an old fashioned road rounded stone used on the surface of an old fashioned road okay next second one this Jane Dane what is the meaning of that to consider or reject something as under serving of respect undeserving it's not under serving it's undeserving okay of respect to consider or reject something as undeserving of respect next one First, I'll write the spelling. Then I'm going to pronounce it. So, so here, swow, swow. Guess here, silent. R is going to be silent. To turn or change direction suddenly. To turn or change direction suddenly. Swoop. What is the meaning of swoop? To move down suddenly and quickly through the air. Okay, look at here. Swoop to move down suddenly and quickly through the air. So in your lesson, the kite maker. So here in the lesson, he had given the kites swooping and swooping in the sky, tangling with each other. Yes, that is. Changing the direction suddenly. Next, and the kite. Here, look at it. To move down suddenly. Kite. What is going to happen? Kites move down suddenly and quickly through the air.
Next one. Tangle. What is that? Winding with each other. Two ropes. Two kites. Two man. Uh, two. What are they? The two manjas of the kites. They twisted together. They get twisted together. That is called a strangle. So here. In the lesson kite maker, the old man, just he was saying about the kite, kite petting and the way the kite turn its direction, change its direction and how the kite move down suddenly and quickly through the air and even just a tangling of two kites he was describing in this lesson. Twisted together. To get into a knot. That is tie up. Into a knot. During kite bettings. During. Uh, what is that during the kite bettings? Look at here. In your textbook. During uh, kite bettings. That is. Great battles were fought, but uh, were fought at that time. The kites moving and swooping in the sky, tangling with each other until the string of one was severed. What is the meaning of that? Just I'll say here. What is that? Having been cut. cut. So, one, two, three, four. These four words he used to, when uh, used in the lesson, when he was explaining about kite bettings. Great battles between two kites. Next. Written new. A group of people accompanying an important person. Yes. Written new. Next. Strample. Trap. Trample. To walk heavily on something or next comma damaging or hurting it. To walk heavily on something Damaging it. Trample. Next. Undulate. Undulate. To have a wave like appearance to 
to have a continuous up and down shape like waves in the sea. Next, Kambarsam. Last one, last two, last two are there, Kambarsam. Large and Difficult to use or more. Okay. Next, you people know what is device. That is a piece of equipment. Next, vivid. That is brightly colored. It's lively. Next, spacious also. You people know. Large and with a lot of space. Affinity, similarity. Okay. Now, let me write. Brickle. Twist or turn the body with short, quick movements. Next, and the remaining remaining meanings are very easy. No need to write. Just I'll go through that. Spacious, this affinity, gust, steed. That I'll write steed. This is a new word, steed. An animal used for riding. And. Animal used for riding, especially horse. Okay. Next, gust a sudden or a strong blast of wind. Okay. Completed. These are the glossaries of the, the lesson kite maker.